Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. It's been a while and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a minimap. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this in two ways. The most simplest way and the other way is using images like so. I'll give you an example uh, running the game so you can see how it looks. Right, the first thing you notice when I start the game that arrow is in a different position as soon as I run it, it goes to its um, player's transform position and the rotation it's looking at. So, watch it change when I run the game. There we go. And the other really cool thing is it actually follows you. So, if you look at these cubes, you are actually looking at the cube. If I look at the door, I am looking at the door. So, if I walk forward, there we go. I know the map sucks because <laughs> I had to make it in a rush. And um, if you look up and down, it won't take any effect on the green arrow. And later on, we are really going to start focusing on more minimap ideas because I'm going to start introducing UAVs. And in order to achieve that, we need to somehow tell the UAV that this guy is a good guy underneath and the red dots are the bad guys <coughs> but we'll get to that later on yeah so you're going to be making this minimap and the very simplest one so let's start with the most simplest UAV okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a new game object and create other <coughs> and you want to create a new camera now rename this camera to minimap now you may notice something strange how the camera is still showing the arms and the guns well it's easy to stop that uh, just click on the minimap and select don't show gun and object sorry not that just leaves that the way it was everything um, just put depth to one there you go that solves that that's because our weapon camera was interfering with this and we don't want that so it's above the weapon cam now I want to place this directly above the main player and then I'm going to go on the Y axis in my game mode I'm going to place it right on top of him and then I'm going to go game object align with view this automatically makes the camera look down upon the player just adjust it as you can see you can't see nothing at the moment that's because you need to change your far clip to something greater. So that's 9000. There we go. Now that you can see him, take the camera and drag it down until you're happy with what you can see. That's fine for me as a minimap. So this is the minimap you're looking at in the game view. Now the thing is, it's such a big map. When you run it, you're going to get this. Now we want this bottom screen, which is a minimap, to appear like this. So let's do that next. You have something called normalized viewport rect on your camera. And if you change the X, you'll see what happens. There we go. Now just play with these values and adjust a height for your normal map. I'm just going to keep fixing mines until I'm happy with it Zero point 0.1 2 would be good there you go and height 0 point 1 0 0.3 there we go and I'm okay with that I'm just gonna save this okay hold on actually let's just put the W to 3 Sorry, two 
yeah, two, and just drag it along the X so it fits the corner of the screen. <clears throat> there you go, that's fine. Save this. Now you want to drag minimap onto the main player, not the main player's camera, the main player itself. And it be once you do that, it will become the child of the main player. And if you run it, it's going to follow its rotations. So let's run it and see what happens. Okay, there's a minimap on top. As you can see, it's following our rotation. So if you move, it moves with the player. There we go. That's how you make a simple minimap. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. I'll see you later.